Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In today's video, we're going to be discussing Voldemort, the Gaunt family, Tom Riddle Sr, and love potions. More specifically, we're going to be discussing Voldemort's relationship with his mother, father, and trying to decipher whether or not Voldemort was aware of the fact that his father was a victim. It certainly shouldn't be news to anyone that Voldemort hated his parents. His mother, unable to continue without the love of his father, left young Voldemort at War's Orphanage shortly before dropping dead. She died of a broken heart, but from Voldemort's perspective, the perspective of someone unable to feel love, she was a coward that abandoned him, something that he would forever resent her for. But Voldemort's relationship with his father wasn't so good either. You see, when Merope was pregnant, Tom Riddle Sr. abandoned them and travelled back to his home in Little Hangleton. He wanted nothing to do with Merope, nor their unborn child. As an adult, Voldemort would commonly refer to his filthy muggle father. He even went as far as changing his name just so that he would no longer have any association with him. You think I was going to use my filthy muggle father's name forever? I, whose veins runs the blood of Salazar Slytherin himself through my mother's side? I keep the name of a foul, common muggle who abandoned me even before I was born. Okay, so Voldemort hated his father for abandoning his mother, but one thing that I've always wondered is, did he know that his father was actually a victim? In case you weren't aware, Merope Gaunt developed an obsession with Tom Riddle Sr. while they were both living in the town of Little Hangleton. However, rather than pursuing him by traditional means, she instead concocted a love potion that she gave to him. After drinking the love potion, Tom Riddle Sr. became infatuated with Merope, and it was after he drank the potion that the two conceived a child. It wasn't until either A, Merope stopped giving it to him, or B, that the potion simply wore off, that Tom Riddle Sr. finally realised his circumstance, fleeing home in order to get away from the witch that had tricked him. I don't think you can exactly blame him here. So my question is, did Voldemort know this? Would this change anything, or would he have killed and hated him anyway? First things first, I think that Voldemort immediately valued his mother over his father, regardless of any extenuating circumstances, purely because he was a muggle and she was a witch. Voldemort had it in his mind essentially right from birth that muggles were dirty, and that only pure-blood witches and wizards were worthy of, well, existence. However, with that said, I think that if we pay close attention to the following quote, the same one from earlier, we should be able to reasonably deduce that no, Voldemort did not know that his father was a victim. You think I was going to use my filthy muggle father's name forever? I, in whose veins runs the blood of Salazar Slytherin himself through my mother's side? I, keep the name of a foul, common muggle who abandoned me even before I was born, just because he found out his wife was a witch? That last part, just because he found out his wife was a witch, sticks out to me, because it reveals that, from Voldemort's perspective, the only reason that Tom Riddle Sr. left Merope was because her magical heritage had been revealed, when, in reality, Riddle Sr. left Merope because he had realised that he was the victim of a love potion. With all of that said, however, I'm not sure that this would have made any difference in his decision to kill his father, nor would it have provided him with any sympathy. I say this because Voldemort was raised in an era where men would have not typically been viewed as potential victims of this type of assault. I think that if Voldemort became aware of what had truly happened to his father, he would have hated him even more. Not only would Voldemort have seen him as a filthy muggle and a deserter, he also would have seen him as weak. What do you guys think? Did you ever think about this? Let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live.